having deja vu. It's time to go back to the past, to go back to the back to the future. I revisited this miserable shit childhood, and now it's time to revisit my revisiting of it. I wasn't satisfied with my incomplete reboot and my lack of attention to the sequel. I guess you could say I was slapped. something. It's the most literal interpretation of the world. It's about time. So let's have clocks. It's about robots. Let's have hearts. Was this game designed by a human being? Or did they just feed the movie into a computer to process and shit out this nonsensical fuck poop? Once again, like the cafe stage, you have to score at least 50 points. Then it's on to more walking stages. And after that, it's the enchantment under the sea dance where Marty plays guitar. What do you do? You have to catch musical notes. What more do you expect? I'll tell you one thing, it's certainly no guitar hero or rock band. Why does Marty play the guitar like a stand-up bass the whole time? Why is he wearing a boiler suit? I guess the same reason as wearing a black muscle shirt. Where's the red jacket or the suit? Could they have gotten Marty to look anything like he did in the films? And what about the music? Wouldn't this have been an opportune time to hear Earth Angel or Johnny B. Good? Okay, wait a minute. It is Johnny B. On track. If they can make the DuckTales theme sound awesome and ain't bit, why not this? At least you get some different music for once. Next, more walk. And finally, the DeLorean. Yes, the DeLorean makes an appearance after all. This is supposed to be the scene where Marty's trying to get back to the future. The streets of Hill Valley are getting slammed with repeated lightning strikes. All you have to do here is dodge the lightning. That's all. Why are you dodging lightning anyway? Isn't Marty trying to get the lightning to hit the DeLorean to generate the 1.21 gigawatts and send them back to 1985? Isn't that the whole fucking idea of the lightning? <laughs> Back to the future, and yes, no special ending. No. Well, now that we've seen the whole game, we can conclude that it has uh, some relation. But it doesn't have any of the familiar music cues. And don't tell me it was some kind of licensing issue, like they were able to license the movie, but not the music that belongs with that movie that we all recognize. No Back to the Future theme, no power of love, no back in time, no time to good. Well, fuck this! Next game, Back to the Future 2 and 3. This one has the Back in Time song, or at least part of it. And the intro scenes follow the movie quite well. Then the game starts, and you see all these dinosaurs, snails, and runaway trash cans. What the hell happened here? It couldn't possibly be any more different from the film. 
in this timeline with this part of sports on it.
perfect example of a game that starts out way too hard. It's only the first level and I can't beat it. From what I understand, there's only four levels. For Sega Genesis, that's the best. I guess they were too late. All the games they just made it more difficult so it would take longer to beat, that's all. Next time I hear Ghost Riders in the Sky, I'm gonna think about going 100 miles per hour on a horse, jumping crates and getting shot at and shit. Somebody made a good Back to the Future game? And it was only in Japan? What the fuck is wrong with this fucking world? We get these shitty games, but not that one? Like, what the hell? Why would you do that? It's good. I mean, it's not great, but it's the best goddamn Back to the Future game I ever played. It's actually a game. Why bury the gem and dig up the turd? Innocent people have suffered through these fucking fuck heaps. People have developed fucking titus from this shit. People go on to live horrible lives, kicking babies in the balls. People went back in time and said to people, hey, hey, there's a good Back to the Future game. Put this shit down and go to Japan. They would have looked at you like you're telling them to go teabag a goat on the surface of Mars. Well, thank you. Fucking shit on us all. Well, I hope you enjoyed my Nintendo games. Re revisit. Oh, and guess what? Yeah, I hate sentences that begin with that. Guess what? Because you know it's never a good thing.